recording, so shut up. It's fine. All right. Yes, ma'am. I haven't checked homework already. Oh, yeah. And oh, yeah. here is, you should have had uh, time to check that. Here is four through six.
Once you get a thousand subscribers, once you get a thousand subscribers, you should start making money for you and plus your ads that you can put into the video. You just have to make sure you don't have any opinions. Well, right now, yeah, you know, I don't think it would work out very well because I tell people to shut up a lot and stuff, and it's probably frowned upon. Shut up. See, if you utilize free speech in any way, they take away your money. Yeah, you could just cut out the parts. There is a ton of these on your next few uh, EOC packets. So you could probably start working some of these. Um, I'm going to do a couple more. I'm going to do number one. It is already set equal to zero, so I need my magic number. So three times one gives me three. I need a number that's going to give me a positive four. It's one and three, right? Yeah. So I have x squared plus x plus three x plus three set equal to zero. Got a group. Who's in common in my first one? X. X. I'm left with an x plus one. Second one. Positive or negative? Positive. I'm left with an x plus 1. Me being the lazy person that I am and don't like writing extra stuff, I normally from here just, I can see my two parentheses, what they're going to be, right? So I normally just from here go ahead and set them equal to 0. So I kind of skip a step from being lazy. And I see that my x intercepts or my roots are going to be negative 3, negative 1. I got that. So the, so the well, roots are always going to have some variation. The magic number. It depends on what your friend is. Okay, I'm looking at number seven. How's my camera, Kaya? Yeah, it's still got zero people. Still got zero people. Oh, no followers. Probably because I haven't allowed any yet. Um. Probably because it's mad. Follow your life. Would you like me to flip off the camera? No, probably because people. Know <laughs> so. Probably because people are in school. Here is my next one. I'm looking at number seven. A times C, what's my magic number? 25. 25. I need a number that's going to give me a positive 10. 5 times 5. 5 times 5. So I'm going to expand this out. It's like Oprah Winfrey all of a sudden like popped up. Well, then Oprah Winfrey would have popped up on that. Then I think I might start getting some revenue then. She would get Such an amazing teacher. Everybody thinks you're a math god. So know. what can I take out of the first parenthesis? Hold on. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. Yes. We're not waiting for you. This, I'm way past y'all. I'm just confused. All right, wait. What no, can I take mind. out of the second parenthesis? Five. Positive five. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, so I see that I'm going to have an x plus 5 equals 0 and an x plus 5 equals 0. When I solve that, I get both answers are a negative 1. Am I going to list uh, I'm not negative, five. negative 5? Yeah, I was like, what? Did I do that wrong? Am I going to list it twice? Yep. No. Oh. So this means it has one solution. How can it have one solution? It passes through the x part. How can that happen when there's two lines? It starts, it starts on the line. What is that called? Oh, um, math. Very, what is the Ooh. very tip top called? Uh, vert, vert. Yes. Okay. I'm looking at number nine next. Oh, yeah. Hey, tap on my board so it focuses on the 
board. What is different about number nine? Uh oh. What is it missing? It's missing a C. So if it's missing a C value, I can still factor this. What is in common in these first two terms? X. So I'm going to take out an X. I'm left with an X minus 8. I still have two things I can set equal to 0. X equals 0. X minus 8 equals 0. Well, there's nothing to solve here. I get X equals 8. So my two solutions would be 0 and 8. Is that how all those are right there? Like, like 9 through 16, is that how all of them are? No. That's why I have a star on number 13. Oh, sorry. What is 13 missing? 13 is missing a B. So basically what happened to B, what number is B? Zero. Well, what's A times C? Negative 64. I need two terms that's going to turn to a zero. Eight and negative eight and positive eight cancel out. Eight and negative eight, eight cancel out. So I can expand this. Double parenthesis. I have an X in common in the, my first one. What do I need to take out of the second parenthesis to get an X plus 8? A negative, eight. Eight. a negative 8. And I get an X plus 8. Now I have two things to set equal. I have an X minus 8 equals 0 and an X plus 8 equals 0. That means my two X values or roots are going to be negative 8 and Eight. Uh -oh. Red box potential notification says buy one, get one free. Ooh, movie night. Movie night. Does it matter which one you put first or not? You always like to put least to greatest. Okay. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking okay. about that. These are my quadratics in standard form like they were before. Are my quadratics in standard form like they were before? No. I need to put them in standard form. So I need AX. Uh, a, B, and C on one side. How do I move 21 over? Subtract it, and I set it equal to zero. There's now my equation, and I handle it just the same. So my magic number is 21, negative 21. I need a positive 4. Seven and 3. 3 and 7. Which one's negative? 3. Okay, expand it out. Double parenthesis. Can I take out the first term? X. X, I get X minus 3. I need to take out a positive 7. I get x minus 3 again. So I have x plus 7 equals 0 and x minus 3 equals 0. So my x intercept, negative 7, positive 3. Genius. Yeah. Oh, really? Oh. And lastly, we have number 20. That's a pretty 
Um, I don't think it's in standard form, do you? I need to get it in standard form. And since we're super smart by now, how about that first hour, huh? They're real intelligent, huh? No, they're dumb. Don't you just subtract for it? So, all I need to do is bring everything to one side. Since we're super smart, I'm going to do it all in one step. Where I got seven from, I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> um, so subtract 4x, and I'm going to subtract 1. So, I'm going to subtract 4x, subtract 1. I get x squared. And that gives me a negative 14x plus 48, 48 equals Equal zero. zero. That was... Was it was very challenging, yes. My magic number is 48. Negative seven, negative seven. Okay, yeah, negative seven, negative seven. Wait, seven. Negative seven. Wait, negative seven. Wow. That doesn't equal 49. Where'd you get um, the seven from? I need... <laughs> magic seconds. Six and eight. Six and eight? Which one's that? Both. Negative, negative, negative six, negative eight. So x squared minus 6x minus 8x plus 48 equals 0. If you weren't looking at that board while you were saying that, that sounded so complicated. But it wasn't. The first parentheses, I'll take out an x, left with x minus 6. Second parentheses, take out... No, take out a negative 8, I get x minus 6, right? Equals Not 0. Oh, yeah. Got it. So I have an x minus 8 equals 0, x minus 6 equals 0. So I have x equals 6 and 8, huh? Mm -hmm. I have noticed something. Yeah. Tell me. Magic Grayson notices this. Is so, you know how... Do you give permission to be on YouTube? Yes. I <laughs> <laughs> You're, how many people? Zero? <laughs> There's zero people will be watching. So, how, you see how it has seven and negative three? Uh -huh. It has negative seven and three. And then it keeps using the same numbers that you use, but it like the does. opposites. But tomorrow, because it this will one's not negative and that's like positive. That. Good notice. Grace it will not everything. happen like that tomorrow's lesson. <laughs> Good <laughs> job, Grayson. Yes. Are, we, are we done? Grayson Harlow, to be exact. Um, Any colleges looking forward to Grayson Cole Grayson. Harlow. <laughs> yeah, we can pause this, but we're not done with myself. Okay.